Well, I go to the rock of my salvation. I go to the stone that the builders rejected. I run to the mountain and the mountain stands by me. When the earth all around me is sinking sand, on Christ the solid rock I stand. When I need a shelter, when I need a friend, I go to the rock. Praise the Lord. Welcome back, saints and seekers of the Lord Jesus Christ. I pray that we are all standing on that firm foundation, Jesus Christ the rock, the rock of our salvation. Praise the Lord. Well, I've just been thinking about being at this precipice of time for several days, and I thought I would just talk about precipice a minute <clears throat> with you. Precipice is a dangerous situation in which they are extremely close to disaster or failure. Well, we know our a precipice literally is that <clears throat> straight down cliff that you can fall off of, right? A very high cliff. And, uh, you know, from movies or films, you may have watched somebody's running the people up to the top of the cliff and uh, they're looking scared at the people chasing them, scared at what is before them. If they jump off the cliff, is that their sure death or is there an escape there? So it's a terrible decision, a scary place to be when times get so disastrous and uh, so many decisions are being made that you have no control over. And um, all I know is we can trust Jesus. We can hope in Jesus. And he is a firm foundation Metaphorically, when we talk about precipice, it's the moment when your current path ends, that metaphorical ledge that demands a response. Well, we see this all over our nations today, don't we? There is just this, all of these things uh, have finally culminated in major decisions having to be made by nations of what they are going to do because things have gotten out of control economically in many nations. It's about to collapse and uh, power strategies are shifting for many. Um, it's like grabbing at last straws here, trying to figure out how to make something work <clears throat> that without God's hand in it, it's not going to work. God blesses those who serve him. And so many in today's world are not serving him. So there's no blessing there when that happens. You know, Jesus told us the end times would be perilous times. It's just more dangerous and it's more uncertain now. It is perilous times we are living in. And the increasing birth pains spoken of in the word, the acceleration and the convergence of events is demanding a response. If you care about your life, you know you've, you're at a precipice time, a precipice moment in your life. There's two kingdoms. Which will you choose? Because time's running out. We know time's running out. We know that souls can go out into eternity any moment with the things they have planned going on. You know, what? What just, just today, the things that I've heard, you know, just today, not, not everything this past week or something, but like Kim Jong-un in uh, North Korea about to test a missile, and this missile can reach the United States. Um... Russia talking about the nuke thing, you know, and uh, everyone, I don't know that we're holding our breath anymore. We've heard so much, but we know it is dangerous times from all of these things. Israel 
having to uh, go against and fight. They had to make up their mind. They had to make a decision to uh, say enough is enough and we will fight. There's just too much that's come against us and it's going to keep coming and so we choose to fight. And then when they choose to fight and send out their missiles and their airstrikes and all of this, well, other countries have to decide what they will do. And so we have retaliation. We have nations coming up against them. This is all in the Bible, that these things will happen in the end times. And as all this goes on and on and the earthquakes increasing and Uh, volcanoes, tragic flooding that wipes out whole towns. We can see it is scary times. And the Bible also tells us that men's hearts will fail them for fear of what is coming on the earth. So, you know, this precipice, the precipice of this moment in time that we are in, there's two kingdoms and which will you choose? the kingdom of this world and its shifting sands or the kingdom of God. Based on that rock, Christ Jesus. You know, there's one way to heaven and it's through the Lord Jesus Christ. He is the way, the truth, and the life. The word tells us no man comes to the Father except through the Son. And uh, we know he is that rock. We see that rock in the Old Testament. We see it in the New Testament. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. He was the fullness of the Godhead bodily. You and I may not get every bit of the revelation of all of this, But if we know that the name of Jesus is to be called on for salvation, and if we believe that uh, Jesus died for our sins, he was the atonement for our sins. He was buried. He rose three days later. He walked on the earth 40 days, appearing before those that had known him and walked with him. And he ascended to heaven, telling his disciples, you go tarry at Jerusalem till you be endued with power from on high. And uh, the day of Pentecost that was celebrated by the Jews of when Moses got the law, that is the day and the appointed time when Jesus the Holy Ghost falls on these disciples in Jerusalem. And that's our Pentecost, New Testament Pentecost, the outpouring of God's Spirit, this wonderful thing that we are a part of, that we don't deserve, but the Lord has put His Spirit in us. If we believe on the Lord Jesus, call on his name. We're baptized in Jesus' name for the remission of sins. We turn from our wickedness. We turn from going the wrong way. We turn from the doubts and the unbelief, and we believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. We will be filled with the Holy Spirit, and he will be in us. He will be our teacher. He will be our comforter. He will be our guide. This is a marvelous thing. I've lived for the Lord Over 38 years, I knew him as a child, but backslid as a young woman and had to return to the Lord. And he's calling to people that were like me, prodigals, backsliders, and the lost, because there's little time your soul could be required of you this day, and you've got to make a choice. You can't not make the choice. It's one way or the other now. You're either calling on Jesus to be saved for a glorious time in heaven for eternity, or you will be in a lake of fire. There's no other options. I pray that you choose well. We are on a precipice. The Lord bless you.